Hey, what's going on everybody? Ray Del Vecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. Today I'm going to set up a custom domain email address with HostGator Web Hosting. And we're going to do this through cPanel, which is the web host manager. So I'm going to log in here. And I have this set up here so all of these sections are minimized. And the only one I have open here is the email section. The only real decision you have to make is whether you want to create an email forwarder or an email account. So if you just want to pass along the emails to another account and deal with it there, you can go ahead and set up a forwarder in the forwarder section here. And just click the add forwarder button. And this is where you can select your email address at yourdomain.com. And then just paste in the, the email address you want to forward it to. I'm going to show you how to create an account. So we'll go over to the email accounts section. And I should mention that in order to store email, when you create an email account, you need to have a hosting account set up. So let me link up a video where I go through the process of creating a shared web hosting account. And then a little bit later in this video, I'll tell you how I use Gmail to manage everything. So right now I'll click on the create button over here. And this is where we can create the email account. So I'll do ray at raydelvecchio.com. And they have an option to generate the password, which I'll do. And then this is where you can set the storage space. So this is going to depend on how much space you have on the hosting account. And you can just set, set it to unlimited. And it'll default to your uh, web server limit as opposed to the email account limit that you set here individually. And all we have to do now is just cl click the create button and it'll generate that account for you. And they have a, a service called Webmail that lets you manage your email completely online if you want to do it that way. And I got this pop-up up here from LastPass, which is the password manager I use to save any passwords I create. But let's click this check email button and that'll log us right into the webmail. And from here, we have an option to choose what service we want to use to open the mail. And they give you either Roundcube or Horde. There's really no big difference between either of these. And over on the right side here, they give you instructions if you want to get set up on the iPhone, the iPad, Android, or they can give you general instructions. And that's what we'll take a look at in a second here. But let me just pop into the inbox. I'll click on the round cube button. And this will show us the web interface that we can use to manage email. And they actually sent those configuration settings, settings that I was just talking about as the first email to this inbox. So if we open this up, this is going to show us the settings that are needed to get set up with any other email client that you want to use. And like I said, I do that through Gmail. So let me link up a video where I go through the process of setting up a custom domain with your personal free Gmail account. And it shows you how to put in these settings for the incoming server, the outgoing server. It's pretty easy. And the cool thing is you can do this with multiple domains. So you can manage several domains within one single Gmail account. I'm over in my Gmail inbox and I'm just going to send a test email to make sure that we get it. And I'll also show you how you can check how much space your email's taken up. So I'm going to send an image that's about 5 megabytes. I got a folder here of images that I use for my desktop backgrounds. So let's send this along and see how it looks on the other end. I'm back in the inbox and because that was a pretty large picture, it's probably going to take a, a, at least a minute or two for this to come through. I'm sure the screen auto refreshes, but if you want to do it manually, they have this refresh button up here. So let me click that and see if it comes through. And it didn't this time, so I'm just going to give this in another 30 or 60 seconds. And here's our test email. And there's our email, so we've verified that this is working properly. And if you go back to the cPanel email accounts page right here and refresh it, it shows you the storage so you can see if you're approaching your limit and what percentage of your limit you're at. But that's it. That'll get you up and running with email on your own custom domain. If you haven't done it already, at the very least, you should grab your full name if you can, if the dot .com is available for your first name, last name. Or now is the best time that there's ever been to create an online presence on a hobby that you're interested in, something you're passionate about. So if you're looking for more of a standard business presence or want to just a general overview of how to create a website, sign up for my free WordPress 101 training, which I'll link up in the top right here and in the description below. You can also get to that 
from websiteprofitcourse.com slash WP101. And what I recommend as an individual that you do is create a blog that could be an add-on to your business website or if you want to get online and potentially create a side income through something you're passionate about. I'll take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to do that in 14 days. You'll get a great big picture overview and you'll have all the fundamentals set up that you'll need long-term. And then from there, it's just a matter of you putting out the content and having the discipline to publish online. Go to 14dayblog.com and I'll also link that up here in the top right and in the description below. If you just want to get set up with HostGator and create an email address, I'll put a link in the description below with a coupon code that will get you a great price for one year of web hosting. And if this video showed you how easy it is to create an email address with your custom domain, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on how to create a website, how to build your online presence, and how to make money with your skills. If you're setting up a website for any specific reason, let me know in the comments below. I've created or managed probably close to 100 sites at this point over the last decade. And most of them you know, were just test sites or something that I tried out and failed. But a couple of them stuck. I learned a lot along the way. And my goal with this channel is to help you along the process with all these little errors and little technical details, along with the mindset shifts that were necessary to take things to the next level. So thanks for taking the time to watch this entire video. And I hope you join me in the next one.